Hello and welcome to episode 5 of uh, Villains Rebuilt. My name is Manxman Matt and uh, this is the first episode of the second season. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll take, quickly take you through the transfers that I've made and then we'll see how we fare in our opening game. So without further ado, let's get straight into the transfers. Um, there's a couple of players. Uh, as you can see, Pasolik, I've, I've made an offer for on loan, but um, I'm not sure that we're going to get him. Um, however, this is what we've got so far. So, um, if you just look on the right, um, we've sold a couple of players for a bit of cash. Elphick was a centre back that we never used. Don't know who Watkins was. Um, I assume he's a youth player. Yedinak, we'd agreed to leave, let leave before the end of the season. Kodja wanted to leave, and I wasn't going to stop him. Keenan Davis wanted to leave, and I wasn't going to stop him. We've sent a couple of kids out on loan, and then. Because of the signings that we've made in central midfield, um, I wanted to bring some money in. The club is in a bit of financial difficulty, I assume, because we didn't get promoted. But, um, yeah, so there was no transfer budget at all, and we were over our wage budget when we went into the start of the new season, which is why, as you can see, I've not spent a single penny, um, apart from on loan fees. So, um, Bjarnson was the central midfielder that I could sell that um I was willing to um didn't want to get rid of Hira Hain, um didn't want to get rid of Henri Lansbury who's come back and is actually I think probably gonna be quite an, an influential player. I've changed the system to a four three three with a defensive midfielder and two wingers. Um but I'll show you that in a minute. So what we've done is we've brought Reese Nelson and Ronnie Lopez who are the wingers that we used last season back in on loan. I couldn't get Snodgrass to come back and um, they wanted a. They they didn't want to send them out on loan. They wanted five and a half million, and obviously with us not having any money, um, that just wasn't an option. So Reese Nelson and Lopez, you saw last season. David Myler is a central midfielder, um, who's I'm going to be playing at defensive midfield. He's normally actually a a normal central midfielder, but he he um can do a job as a ball winning midfielder. Um, he's going to be our starting. Their defensive midfielder. He he looks he, he's done fairly well in um, preseason and he looks like he's going to be um, fairly good. Um, he was a whole last season. Um, didn't particularly play many games for them, but um, we we need. I I think we need to change the system up a bit. Um, I think the three three in midfield might have been causing us a few issues. So I've decided to see if I can um, change one of them to a defensive midfielder just to give the others a bit more space. Um, let the box for box midfielder go forward a bit more and um, give us a, the advanced playmaker a bit of space. The next one we brought in, we've only got one left back at the club, so I've brought in Harry Tofolo. It's a name I recognise. I've no idea where from. Um, he's come in. Uh, he's been at Doncaster on loan last season from Norwich. Um, he was on the freeze. Um, I don't think he wanted that much money in terms of his wages. Uh, let's have a look. So yeah, six grand a month. Is, sorry, six grand a week is is nothing at this level. He's going to turn out to be a, a fairly good player. So having somebody like Harry Tafolo was a, a good idea as far as I was concerned. We then brought it back, Lucas Mull from Chelsea again. He's currently injured, so um, that's why everything is down. But um, he's a, he's a good ball playing defender. He's going to be cover for John Terry again. John Terry obviously is is getting older, so. We want to have somebody who can cover as, as the, and that plays in the same style. So a ball playing defender that likes to be a stopper is definitely something that we brought in. Now because we're playing the defensive midfielder, we needed to bring in another guy who could who could play in a defensive midfield position. So that's where Nigel De Jong came in. Didn't particularly want him, but I couldn't find anybody else who was any good in that position. He's only a two and a half star player. Um, Glenn Whelan can do a job there as well, but I don't want to. I I don't want to risk that. Nigel Nigel De Jong obviously is a, a World Cup finalist, so he's a good player. It'll be good to have around the club, and hopefully I can keep on keep a hold of him once he retires. I can get him to um to become a coach at the club or something along those lines. It'd just be nice to have um somebody like that with that kind of experience around at the club. Uh, the next player we brought in is James Wilson. Um, I think we brought him in last season um, and didn't really play him that much. I wanted somebody 
to challenge Hogan, is it we've got up front? Um, so I've actually brought in a couple of strikers. I brought James Wilson, um, of Man United fame, who's who's more of a poacher, and then I brought in Sam Gallagher from Southampton. Now I've had to pay a little bit of money, um, along with the loan fees, but he's going to be a slightly better player than Wilson for us. I think he's a target man. Now we normally play with a complete forward. None of the guys that we could get in can do complete forward. And I think a target man is going to be far better on his own than a poacher. So I think we'll likely see Sam Gallagher getting more game time than James Wilson. And then finally, so far, we've got um, Leonardo de Silva Lopez, who I took to Chelsea. Um, So I brought him in as cover, really, for right wing, central midfield and the fullbacks because we didn't really have much in the way of wide men. Um, I think we've got, with the two players that we brought in, we've also got Andrew Green and El Mahamedy, and that's about it. So to have um, Silva Lopez, who can play on the right wing, can play centre midfield, if we end up going to wing backs, he could cover right or left wing back. Probably more right than left, but um, yeah, I, I, I wanted somebody that could cover a load of play. He can do a job at defensive midfield, but um, he's far better as an attacking midfielder. So that's what we've brought in so far. I would like probably to get another centre-back, but whether that's going to happen, I don't know. Probably need to clear out some of the the players that just aren't going to get any football this season, but um, I've not been able to. There's a couple of players um, that I wanted rid of that we just can't get rid of. Um, so that's basically what we've got. I'm just going to show you how Chelsea got on last season. So obviously they sacked me um, in October. Um, and I don't know how to show you this. They actually won the FA Cup last season. Is it in competitions? So where's the FA Cup? English FA Cup. And as you can see, 2018, they won it. Um, so without me, they managed to come back win the FA Cup, uh, which is slightly annoying. Um, I'm not sure where they finished last season, but as you can see, they didn't get into the top three. I wonder if I click on the year. No, I don't know if there's any way to find out how where they finished last season, but um, they certainly weren't in the top three in the Premier League last year. But they they obviously did quite well. As you can see, they're predicted to be the third their, as third favourite for this season. If we just have a look at the transfers... So I think as we showed last season, they brought in Daniele De Rossi. They brought in a couple of other players. As you can see, they've they've got rid of Batshuayi, Zappacosta. Um, I, w- I won't tell you all of them because obviously um, they've they've got so many players. But um, Batshuayi, D- Zappacosta, Daily Blind, who I brought in for them, is gone. Um, Giuseppe Rossi, I brought in, is gone. And then they've sent a few players out on loan. I wish I'd remember Tammy Abraham was would have been available on a loan because he would have been fantastic to get. But unfortunately, I didn't. And all they've done is brought in Sammy Kadira. So if we just look at their current squad, Courtois and some fellow I've never heard of as the goalkeepers. They've got Louise Zuma, Christensen, Rudiger, Cahill, who's on the transfer list. Azpilicueta, Marcus Alonso as their defenders. They've already, they'd already got rid of uh, Victor Moses. So I assume Azpilicueta is Zuma as a right back and as Blackwater as a left back, I'm guessing that's just in these preseason friendlies. I assume they'll be using um, Zuma as a centre back. They'll be using as at right and Alonso at left, but you never know. They've, they've now got a plethora of sort of central midfield, defensive midfielders. So they've got Kadira, Kante, Bakayoko, De Rossi, Van Ginkel, Van Hinkle, um, Drinkwater. Mario Pasalic, who I'm hoping to bring in on loan, who's on the transfer list, but nobody's bid for him, and Seth Fabregas. With regards to sort of attacking players, they're, they're quite short and they're trying to sell Mesut Ozil. So they're obviously not going to be playing with the, the central striker. They've got Willian, um, Pedro, Turan, Hazard as, the, as Hazard as the wingers, and just Morata as a striker. They don't have anybody else who can play as a striker. So it'd be interesting to find out what happens when... Morata gets injured as he used to for me all the time. Um, we'll keep an eye on how Chelsea do. See if um, see if they fare a lot better now that I'm not part of the club um, and I haven't ruined the start of their season. Uh, if people remind me, I might forget. Um, if not, we'll we'll definitely have a look at them at the end of the season. 
Anyway, let's just get into the team that we're playing for today's game, and then let's get into the game. So we've got Pierluigi Gallini, who is a goalkeeper who was ours but was out on loan at Atlanta in Serie A last season, um, who I only realised was back at the club. Um, I think he's only played one game in pre-season. I think Sam Johnson played most of them. But he's actually better than Sam Johnson, so um, there's no way he's not starting. So we've got him in goal. We've got Richie Delat, James Chester, John Terry, Neil Taylor as the back four. David Myler playing as a ball-winning midfielder in the defensive midfield position with Henri Lansbury and Conor Hurahane in front of him. Ronnie Lopez on the right, Reese Nelson on the left, and Scott Hogan up front. On the bench, we've got Johnston, Tofolo, Mika Richards, Glenn Whelan, Matty Palmer, Andre Green, and Sam Gallagher. Um, the bench will probably look to change as the season goes on. I, I'm not sure whether maybe De Silva Lopez should be in there. Maybe James Wilson should be on there. Um, maybe even De Jong or El Mahamedy. I really don't know what the... the the bench should be at this point, but that's probably what I'm going to stick with. I think that's probably our strongest team. Maybe Alan Hutton is better than Richie Delat for right fullback, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So let's get into today's first game. We we've not got any team instructions on. We're going to start start as standard, and then adjust as sort of the season goes on and we work out whether we're going to be challenging for the title or not. I think we're actually probably slightly weaker than we were last season. So I think we're going to struggle, but there's a possibility of us making the playoffs or even an outside possibility of uh, automatic promotion. I'd like to think that we could get automatic promotion, but you never know. So here we have the Cardiff City team who we'd be playing today. Um, apart from Junior Hoylett, I don't think I know any of those players, but that means nothing. I'm not a championship fan um i don't really follow the championship so um those are the instructions that we're going to put on let's get into this game so the first highlight is theirs they're playing the ball forward rails into wilson out to gunnison playing the ball around hoylett's got it back into wilson gunnison wilson hoylett they're just passing the ball around the midfield here not going forward but they're building to something Got him. Hoylett's got him behind, but uh, I think that's a good save from the, the goalkeeper that I can't remember the name of. Well cleared from that corner by Hurahane, and that's the end of the highlight. So another highlight, and it looks like it's another one of Cardiff's. They're building again around the midfield. Vangaloko's round the outside of us. Sahor has come in, headed the ball into the goal, and it's 1-0 to Cardiff. If we look at the stats, we've been all over them. They've had one chance, which is the other highlight. This looks to be their second chance, and they've taken it. And that's really disappointing. Nobody's followed his run. And he's managed to hit it in at the near post, which is just shouldn't be happening. And to make everything even better, Ronnie Lopez is now injured. So we need to make a change at half-time. Oh, we're going to have to bring Green on. I should have made sure that he was a lot fitter by the start of the season or brought Buddy El Mohamedy onto the bench. But not much you can do. Um, as I said, the, the stats are showing that we've been the better side. But... Nothing else is. I've had to go work ball in the box because we haven't been there. We, all our chances must have been from long range because there's a lot of them off target. There you go, as you can see. Our stats are better. Corner from us. Out, Lansbury's hit it from distance and I think he's hit the post there. That's unlucky. Terry forward to Green. Lansbury, Hurahane. Out to Green. Lansbury, Hurahane. Out to Green again. Building nicely here. Green is through and Green has scored for Aston Villa. He's a young player that I think I sent out on loan last year um, likes to be a winger on the right hand side I think um, whatever has happened there he's put it in at the near post as well, that's a good finish from the young lad, I think he's about 20 he looks to be a good prospect, we need to get him match up another corner from us Chester's headed it in and I think that's gone off the post I think but I'm, I might be wrong, well shut down their attack by uh, Neil Taylor right we're 68 minutes in and the worst players on our team are James Chester, who I'm not going to change, but Scott Hogan, our striker, has not been having a good game. I'm really not happy with our options at striker. Hogan's just not as good as I was hoping. Gallagher is not not yet going to be fantastic. I think we're going to struggle for goals this season unless 
either Reese Nelson or Ronnie Lopez or Green or whoever's playing on those wings um, gets up and support. I think the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Glenn, Glenn Whelan on for Milet and go back to the, the three that we were playing last season. Um, and I'm going to leave him as a ball winning midfielder on support, just move him a little bit further forward and just see if that helps us get either Lansbury or Hurahain into the box a little bit more. We're on control. I don't want to go any more attacking in case um, we leave holes at the back and Cardiff hit us on the break. So they've got a, another highlight, passing the ball around. Well won back by Delete. Gives it to Green. Green is running down the outside, gone wide, crosses the ball into Gallagher. Whelan's got it and lo- loses out to Lee Tomlin. They're now patiently trying to build this attack. Well won back by John Terry. Hurahane, Taylor's got it. Um, Hurahane's got it again. Wayward passing here. Well, go- good ball out. And Gallagher has scored at the near post. Cross in from Green, who's been the difference maker for us today. So Lansbury played it out wide to Green. Green's controlled it well, crossed the ball in. Gallagher's come uh, come near post, drilled the ball hard and, hard and low. Their goalkeeper couldn't handle it, and that's 2-1 to us. I think 85 minutes, right, what we're going to do is we're just going to make Glenn Whelan be a defensive midfielder. He doesn't particularly like it, but he's not getting the choice. I'm going to make him a ball-winning defield, midfielder on defend. I'm going to take us back to defensive. And we're going to get rid of that work, the ball into the box instruction. We're going to bring the tempo of the game right down. I'm going to take a breather. And we're just going to try and shut this game down. I think we'll give it another couple of minutes, then we'll go contain. Just try and shut down the last the last chances that Cardiff have to to ruin this for us. A win on the first day of the season would be uh, would be brilliant. And that's it. So we're now into added time. Well, we're four seconds away from added time. You know what I mean. So we're just going to go contain. We're going to play even safer. We're going to see if we can just retain possession and just clear the ball to the wings, try and kill the ball in the corners. And we'll just see if uh, we can see out the rest of this game. Because I've done this, they're probably going to um, hit us on the counter or something stupid now. As you can see, I called it. Well cleared by James Chester, though. Let's see what's happening now. Time is slowly running down. Hopefully this should be the end of the game. Highlight. Cleared. Cleared again. And that's the end of the game. And we've won the first game of the season 2-1. It's a lot more positive than I thought this was going to be. When I first um, saw the budgets, I actually decided that I was probably not going to do this save. Um, I played through anyway to the the end of the season and um, the start of the next season. I thought I might as well just give it a go, see what happens. Pre-season went all right. I didn't actually show you how we, how we got on in pre-season, did I? Um, so I played quite a lot of games in pre-season because I wanted to get as many players as I could up to full fitness. Um, I mean, we we lost to Monaco and drew with Leon and everybody else we've beaten. So there's there's some bigger, or pretty much all of those teams apart from Tamworth and Union SG, I would call bigger than us. They're in top leagues in their respective countries. We've beaten PSV, Lens, West Brom, Udinese. And Willem, and, and I think, I mean, I, I'm I'm certainly happy with that. And, and to come back and um, to beat Cardiff on the first day of the season is brilliant. Hopefully, we can build from there. With the Carabao Cup in the next round, oh, sorry, the first round of the Carabao Cup is our next game. Um, we need to be positive in this. I think I've told the board that we get into the third round of this so that I could get some extra transfer budget. I think I told them we get in the fifth round of the FA Cup as well. So we're not just going to be um, playing second string teams in this. We're going to rotate a bit, but we're going to have to make sure that we do well in the cup competitions as well, because otherwise I think I am going to be fired. We'll come back probably around the Leeds game, see if we can get a bit further in the future. We'll come back, like I say, 
sometime around maybe Leeds, maybe Norwich, sometime around there. Um, and that's where you'll be next episode. If you've enjoyed that, please leave a like. Um, if you want to see how we get on for the rest of the season, um, subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much for watching.